Okay, so the question is, um, what would happen if you create a score set from two different folders uh, in the same project where you would be taking an instrument from one and an instrument from another and creating a score set? How, in fact, does that impact the hierarchy? So let's start with um, uh, a few details about this particular piece. So there are three tracks in this project, and each track has two regions. Uh, denoted T1, R1, T1, R2, you get the idea so that uh, they can be matched up. Here I created a German folder, and inside the German folder I have a uh, harmonica, a mandolin, and I've created another nested folder. So we'll get to this later. And then I have uh, an Oktoberfest folder, which has a banjo and an accordion in it. Okay, so the answer to the specific question would be, um, after you create the score sets, and let me also note that each score set I created has four stars in front of it, so that it's very obvious which score set uh, is in use. So uh, in the case of the harmonica and the banjo score set, each of these instruments are contained uh, in their respective individual folder. One's in the German Fest folder, one's in the Oktoberfest folder. And as you can see, when I select it, it in fact does filter out those instruments. So the score sets operate in the same manner, regardless of whether you're taking instruments from the project or you're taking instruments from a subfolder or in fact from nested folders. They will operate the same way. So the score set is in fact just a filter of those instruments that you've defined um, in your score set, regardless of the source. Now let me, uh, let me mention and show you one other thing because I did have a question um, that someone <laughs> sent to me uh, privately, but I think it's a good question, and that's when you navigate the hierarchy, sometimes it goes through a score set and displays it, and other times it goes right from the instrument level directly to the um, all instrument um, filter. Um, and they didn't understand why or if that's a bug or what was happening. Well, that's not a bug. Uh, Logic is really smart, and it remembers the last score set um, that you selected. So let me give you an example here of what's going on. And let me start with, uh, I, I want to show you this because I think this is pretty important. Um, what, what you see here is in, in the uh, score itself, uh, this is defining for you internally what Logic thinks the score set is and what display level um, the, your, the uh, Logic is currently at. Um, and so in this particular case, this is done through adding these variables, the slash i and the slash s variable, um, to the prefix of the page numbers. So that's where this information comes from. So as I uh, circumnavigate up and down the hierarchy, you're going to be able to see this change, and it will explicitly display uh, what display level logic is at and also what score set or instrument filter um, is currently uh, in use. Okay, <clears throat> so let's start with um, the explanation of when will you go through a score set as you emerge or ascend through the lower levels of the hierarchy? Well, the answer is, it depends on what was previously selected. So as an example, if I were to go up here and I were to select the uh, track one score set. So this score set is only made up of track one. Now when I go down and I uh, select track three at the region level, I see track three. Now remember, the previous score set was track one. So as I ascend out of this, uh, logic is going to say, if the score set um, that was previously selected contains the track that I'm using, then I will go ahead and, uh, and go through that score set. Otherwise, I'm going to jump over it and I'm going to go right to the all instruments uh, filter. So in this particular case, I'm going to click the up arrow and we should go to the, um, the instrument level, which would be track three. So let me, sh let me show you this. So right now, right now, you'll see we are at the track level, track number three, and it conf it's confirmed here in the display. Now when I go up again, should it go to a score set or should it go to a, uh, the all instruments? Well, in this case, because the previously selected score set did not contain this instrument, it's going to immediately go up to all instruments. Watch. Okay, now I'll make that behavior uh, change slightly. Okay, so let's say in this case, um, I select track three as the score set. 
Okay, so I've selected a score set now. Now if I go ahead and I go down at the region level, and I start to ascend from it, I go from the region to the instrument level, only this time it says, is track three used in the previous score set that was selected? And the answer is yes. So now when I press the up arrow, this should go to the score set. And it does, you can see the four stars. And then if I hit it again, it will go to the all instrument level. And it does. Let me show you differently. So in this particular case, I'll go ahead and I'll select tracks two and three. So this score set uses tracks two and three. So I'm going to select it. So now this has become my previously selected score set. So if I go and I go to track um, uh, one, region one at the lowest level, I'm going to begin my ascension. Obviously the next level is going to be the instrument level. So it's going to be track one. And that's correct. That's correct. Now it's going to, now logic is going to say, okay, based on the, the ascension to the next level, is track one or was it used in the previous score set? Well, our previous score set did not use track one. So this is going to go to all instruments and it did. Okay. Now all I'm going to do is let's go ahead down here to three and do the same thing. But we know three was used in the previous score set because the previous score set was the one that was defined as two and three. So now as I press the up arrow, I'm going to go ahead from the region level. I'm going to go to the uh, instrument level. And now it says, okay, was track three used in the previous score set? The previous score set that was selected was the one that was for tracks two and three. Since three was included in that, it's going to go to that score set next. And there you see it, there's the score set. And then you'll hit it again and it'll go to the all instruments level. So that's the explanation of why sometimes when you ascend through the hierarchy, you can go through a score set or it may not go through a score set. And that's a function on whether the instrument you're ascending from was used in the previously selected score set. Okay. And then also I wanted to just uh, quickly show you that when you're in a folder um, and you ascend from a folder, kind of what happens here. So if I go, I'll start with this one. So here you see that I'm, uh, I'm in the folder, select the region. So I'm in the region of that folder. Now, as I ascend out of it, I go to the instrument in that folder, excuse me, the track, the instrument track in that folder. Now, when I go, the next uh, ascension is going to take me to the all instruments level, but in that folder. So I should only see these two instruments. And as you can see, that's what happened. So I am at the all instrument, um, level right in the Oktoberfest folder. Now, when I hit it again, I'm going to go to the next level up. The next level up is the, is the project level. So now I'm at the all instrument level at the project, which is the highest level that I can be at. So as you can see, it basically just takes you out of each folder uh, and moves you up and you can have as many folders as you want nested. And I can show you that here in the German folder where I've also added a Santa Claus folder. So in the Santa Claus folder, if I click on a region, here we are, Chris Kringle, and I'm at the lowest level, so I'm at the region level. So when I click up in this folder, I'm gonna to go to the instrument level of this particular region. Excuse me, instrument level of this folder. Now when I go up again, I'm going to see the all instruments, and you can see it up here too, all instruments level of this folder. Now, when I go up again, I'm going to go to the folder um, above this, which is the German Fest folder. And of course, if I, in the arrange window, I can show you this by going here. So you'll see I'm at the all instruments level now of the German Fest folder. And then if I go up again, I should go to the all instruments level of the project. And you can see that that is where I went. The project name is called Holiday Song, and I'm at the all instruments level. So that sort of describes the uh, ascension hierarchy um, in terms of what you can expect uh, when you go certainly go up um, we can talk about uh, content link and coming down in another video but i just wanted to uh, um, i didn't want to write a, a 15 paragraph uh, explanation because one i think it's hard to understand without a visualization and also i think this um, this makes the point uh, a little bit clearer and I can't stress enough uh, the importance of if you really want to understand what logic is doing internally as you 
circumnavigate the various um, you know, uh, hierarchy or visual le levels to go ahead and put these two in at least temporarily so that you can see what is actually happening in your song and in your score as you're going through uh, through uh, through an ascension whether or whether or not it includes folders. Um, and also, of course, remember that if you want to see the folders, you've got to have explode folders on. If you don't, then you'll just see a, a solid bar representing the folders in your score. Hope that helps.